what's good with you guys the Sandra Blade situation which is the main topic of this video dehumanization among African Americans in America and you know just racism in general so I mean racism was way before slavery um if you read Othello I read um Othello majority of stuff I find out myself like this is actually I don't learn in school but I do learn about European um, history, but I barely, we barely go into African American history. And if you learn something, you have to go like online or just like, you know, sort other sources. I went Othello, and my teacher explained to me she's Caucasian. Not that that matters, but you know, if it does matter to anybody. And she explained how, what did Othello take place in? Where it took place at? This is a fictional story. But it related to uh, realistic stuff like slavery. I mean, not slavery, but racism. This is why I'm talking about Othello. It was one of my favorite plays. Very good play. If you haven't watched it, you should go. I mean, read it or watch it online. You should go look at it. So it took place in Venice. And in the um, book, you could see, like, they were, like they used, I don't remember, but they used, like, racist terms in there to describe Othello. It's called Othello, the Moor of Venice, I think. The original title. And they let you know that what was going on. And also, if it was performed in play, it's performed. He was performed. The actor that portrayed him was performed in blackface. Well, performed in blackface. Enough of um Othello. Um, let's talk about racism. But like I said, racism was way. This is like in 16. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but I think I thought it took place like the 16. Shakespeare in that 1600s. So yeah, slavery is way, way. I mean, racism is way, way big. 1603 out of shit. But it was Wikipedia, so racism was planted, and it's gonna continue to rise, and it's, it's gonna continue to uprise. I, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but I don't think that slave, I mean, race, racism will ever end in the United States. I don't think, I don't think any, I don't think racism will ever end because some people have that mindset. Some people say it's like a mental illness, racism. I don't agree. I don't agree. It's very, I think it's very childlike to dislike somebody because of the color of their skin. I have to treat everybody the same, no matter what your skin color is. I greet the same people, I greet people with the same amount of respect, no matter your skin color. Sandra Blade situation, it's obvious that she was murdered. They're saying she committed suicide, that doesn't make sense. Plus, she was arrested for something very childish. Like, this person, want, he just wanted to arrest her. Claim, okay, I got this off somewhere. Um, when she was in the car, he said that she was, um, under arrest. And they said the police document said that she was arrested for assaulting an officer, I think. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, correct me, please. I don't mind being corrected. In my mind, she was murdered. Um, the picture surfaced of her, um... Picture surface, how most shot surface. It was a front picture. Front. She's we do a most shot. Everybody knows, you know, it's how everybody has like a front picture and the side also. We haven't seen her side picture from the side, and in the picture, it looked, I mean, the picture that they released, it looks something isn't right about the picture. So she looks, it's they're saying she looks dead in the picture. I'm hoping that it's, what am I trying to say? I'm hoping that someone is not that evil enough to do something like that, but that county that she was arrested in, I read that it was the last county to free the slaves. So, it pretty much lets you know what kind of county it is. The state that I stay in, I'm not saying where I stay because I don't want to call it like an uproar. They're less than 30 minutes away in a town. They're going to be KK, supposedly going to be a KKK rally. The picture was going around everywhere. People were in uproar. I feel like, okay, MLK, he he fought by protesting. When doing that whole situation, he fought in the 1900s. He fought on by protesting. Now from X, he fought for, you know, physical to physical. And both of them had the same faith. So I feel like even if we do fight or don't fight, it's just something we can't avoid as an African American person in the United States, the land of the free. Every cop is racist, not every white person. I mean, Caucasian person is racist. I'm not saying it at all. Somebody said on Twitter, if you don't have a problem, if, if you don't see a problem with this, then you are part of the problem. Even Helen Keller, 
could sense that something was wrong, something was right about this um situation going on with the Sandra Bailey thing. Even Kelly Kelly could know notice this. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm so serious. That's how like in your face it is, and people are in denial. But I mean, this has been going on. How many killings does it take for this to you know? I don't know. leave what Patricia so might say about it. I'm trying not to like go into this because I'm not people getting their feelings. Um, I'm gonna leave a petition. I think change that or a petition also for her to um for them to uh, investigate it. I would say should have already been dead. And I'm gonna leave another petition too with my um description bar. And I might disable the comments or I'm not sure yet because I know people are they get on Instagram. I mean they get on social media and they just say stuff that they would not say in person. Yeah. But thank you for watching. I'm very nervous. I'm sorry for the the way I'm talking on here, this is my first time talking about something on my channel. I mean, it's easy to talk to somebody else about this, but on my channel, it's kind of, it's way different. But thank you. Hope I got my message across.